And so finally we come to the last consideration, which is the question, in what way and by what means can an individual who is under the impression that he is a separate individual, limited by and enclosed in his bag of skin, how can such a person effectively realize that he is deep down the universal self, the Brahman? This, of course, is a curious question. It proposes a journey to the place where you already are. Now it's true that you may not know that you are there, but you are. And if you take a journey to the place where you are, you will visit many other places than the place where you are. And perhaps when you find through some long experience that all the places you go to are not the place you wanted to find. You, it may occur to you that you were already there in the beginning. And that is the dharma, or method, as I translated that word, which all gurus, teachers of spiritual development, use They are all of them tricksters, but in the most beneficent sense of the word trickster. Why trickster? Because, do you know, it's terribly difficult, in fact, it's impossible to surprise yourself on purpose. And yet, to be surprised is a great thing. But you can't plan a surprise for yourself. Somebody else can do it for you. And that is why so often a guru or teacher is necessary in this process. But let me say right from the start that a guru, there are many kinds of gurus. First of all, among human gurus, there are square gurus, and there are beat gurus. <laughs> there are gurus like, uh, well, let's say a great Zen master today. Let's take Oda Roshi at Daitokuji, who is a square guru and a very good one. But you go through regular channels. Then there is a guru like uh, Mr. Gurdjieff, who is a rascal guru leads you in by means that are very, very strange indeed. Then there are gurus that are not people. The gurus may be situations, a certain kind of problem or encounter. Even a book can to some extent be a guru. A friend can be a guru. I've often thought of writing a story about a man who is some sort of uh, guru seeker and a potential yogi who goes one day into an automat and sits down at a table where there is another fellow and he sort of thinks that this man looks wise and he projects onto him the idea that he is a guru and he says I feel there's something special about you and the man says oh really uh, really actually there's nothing special about me I happen to be an insurance salesman and this other fellow says, isn't that fascinating how modest he is? <laughs> and then I want to develop this story. Step by step, they keep meeting each other because they both eat at the same automat regularly for lunch. And uh, although the, uh, the fellow really is an insurance salesman and doesn't know a thing about these things, it in the end results in the enlightenment of the person who projected this image upon him. <laughs> So there are, as I say, many kinds of guru. 
But the problem of the guru is to show the inquirer in some effective way that he already has what he's looking for. Now, 